Hey, we are going to make a faceplate uh, holder for the HDS 990. It's a little bit smaller, so we need to make the faceplate holder in there. And also I'll kind of mock up my digital, Dakota digital gauges to kind of give you an idea what it's going to look like. But as you can see, the receiver is a little bit smaller than the normal normal for receiver so we have to take this and make it fit inside there as we have a little extra space so the little extra space we're going to use this plas this plastic composite and put a USB extension cable on the side here so let me uh, mock it up and we'll kind of give an idea give you an idea of what we're going to do and I'll kind of go step by step on what I'm doing. So, new gauges coming up. Uh, I won't get to the Dakota gauge, the Dakota digital gauges today, but I am going to work on the faceplate for the controller. All right, give me a second. Here's going to be a rough mock-up of what it's going to look like. And so now I need to fill in that little gap there fill in the rest so that's what we're going to be doing today is making this little area right here right here fill in that gap and then we're going to bond this to it too so this comes out of its little pocket mm -hmm. to do this to do all this I'm going to have a link of all the the items I bought so Instead of my old one, my old one had the old stereo with the volume and, and tuning coming out. So I decided just to buy a whole new unit because my my center unit was cracked right here. So I figured I'd get a new one. And then it's just kind of a mock-up with the gauges. Of course, they're not in yet. They're just sitting in there. They don't want to come out now. So, so we'll install those gauges later, but we're going to worry about that. As you can see what they did is they just took the old one, cut it, and then they added this piece to it, this block off plate. So that's what we're going to do. First things first, we have to cut this plastic to shape and then cut the hole for the USB port there and then we'll mock it up in here. And from there, we'll bond it. All right. And then it's a nice head unit because I'm not. I'm gonna uh, do a radio delete except for the head unit. So I'm not gonna have like an actual radio radio. I'm just gonna go with high high resolution music. It, it's just a media player, so it doesn't play any radio stations or anything like that. It can connect to a radio player and all that, but I'm just gonna have a little. Uh, USB card connect plug it in play my music it's way better all right let's go to it okay here's the rough setup so with that head that tiny controller unit fitting into there we need to build a side piece here that is about an inch just just above a three inch and a three quarter so now we're going to transfer that over here. We're going to cut it a little big. That way we can shave it down to the correct size. So we're going to go an inch and three quarter there. And roughly two inches. Or two, two and a quarter inches this way. So now we're going to cut this out over here. So I'll do that here in a second. And we'll go to it. So I took my uh, razor knife here and I scored out the outline and I keep scoring and scoring and scoring until I get a little bit deep enough cut and hopefully I'll be able to kind of bend it and eventually snap out. So what, I, what I'm doing is I'm just keep scoring, scoring, scoring until I get close enough to where that plastic is going to come, come apart. Okay, so I scored it enough to where I could just bend 
the plastic out eventually. So now we got our piece here. So see now we're gonna have to get it close closer to that fitment. Now that's fine because I can grind this side down, these two sides down, and make them get a closer fit in there. But we want a little extra because we want to make sure that we get this you know equal so that's our next thing okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand it down until it gets close enough to fit in there so we're pretty close we're just getting the right dimensions in and sanding I got 80 grit sandpaper here so this might take maybe about 10 minutes or so so that's my next step is to do that okay so now that we have this edge sanded down now we have to measure from here get this get the right measurements for this side see I got it right where it's pretty tough it sits right in there it's not that's not even bonded in I could push on it I mean I can push hard and it'll go through but I just got it right perfect so that way when I bond it I'm gonna put a piece in the back to support it and then that and that'll give the support just in case because you know you don't want to be pushing in that USB cable or anything like that and it being popping out. But made it nice and tight against there. Looks pretty good. Now we just need to do the one edge. All right, I'm going to sand that. Okay, here is the, the final cut. Uh, I made it real tight against here too because this has a little ridge that pops up a little bit. So I have to keep that, and then it presses up against this. Nothing is bonded in yet. So we got this, and then we'll put the head unit in and take a look and see what it, how it fits. All right, we can see the head unit fits. Uh, this particular head unit, it's, it's really light. Uh, it doesn't really snap in there, so I'm going to have to put some, like, uh, double-sided tape to hold it in it won't rattle on anything but I mean it's it's snug but I'd rather have it sit in there tight tight all right so now I'm gonna cut out the USB hole for right here and then we'll bond all right before I get cut in the center I thought I would show the exact dimensions for if somebody else wants to do this You can get a nice cut. Oh, bumped it, sorry. There you go. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the middle, we're gonna draw a cross down the middle, and then from there I'm gonna measure out the sides for the hole for the USB cable. Okay. Okay, I made the outline mark and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to each corner here and I'm gonna drill a hole small to small small hole on each corner and then maybe a few on the side until I can eventually break that piece out and then once that's in there because this you won't see it anyway because it has a plate so this this middle piece doesn't have to look good as long as we can get this piece to fit in there so that's what we're gonna work next and go from there all right now that I've drilled a bunch of holes there now I'm just gonna score in between them and cut out the middle piece and then we'll do a rough fitment and see where we need to go from there and then I might get a Dremel in there and just clean out the inside after that <laughs> all right we got the cut bit there the piece cut out now we're going to Dremel it out or we're going to do test fit and see what we need to do and probably Dremel it out. Here's our test fit. As you can see, we need to go a little bit wider. So we're going to go wider from long ways and get our fit in there. And then we'll see what it fits going the opposite way wide. All right. So I got it all in and everything, but. It will fit, but it won't clamp and close. So I'm gonna to have to bond 
that piece in between and hold it down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my plastic JB Weld plastic bonder. I'm gonna apply it with some uh, Q-tips and clean up and have a few extra Q-tips for cleanup just in case you make a mess. Same with toothpicks. Uh, since it's such a small space, we don't wanna go too crazy with the bond. So that's what we're going to do next. So we're just going to squirt this in here in the mixing tray, mix it up, and apply it. Uh, the way I'm going to apply it, though, I'm not going to put it on the face. I'm going to apply it on the back of the USB. So down in there, so you can see down in here. I'm going to apply it to the back end of that and then push the, the plate onto it. That way, that way it'll be less of a mess and I can kind of control it a little bit better. All right, wish me luck. Here it is uh, bonded up. I got some uh, vice grips with a board holding it down. I don't know if we can see underneath, but just to hold it, press that face plate down. Uh, these aren't very tight, just enough just to, just to hold it down in place. And then I put a generous amount of bonding age, uh, sealant around it. We'll let that sit for a couple hours. Then from there, we'll go on to the next step. All right, now that I have this part bonded, I'm gonna have to, I got it placed in, I'm gonna have to bond along all the seams, get along here. Uh, I won't be able to get to the very tip top so I'll have to go along this edge. Luckily, it lies flush along there. Bond along here. And, of course, this seam right here. And then up in those areas there. Once all that bonding is, this should be super solid. And uh, everything should be perfect and ready to go after that. All right. Okay, we have it all bonded up. Now we just gotta let it dry. Let's see all the areas I had really had to bond up, got in the corners there. Put quite a bit down in there, because that's when you push, you're gonna be kind of putting pressure on the bottom. Then really put it around that section there. That way it really just bonds and holds everything together. Now the front, gotta be careful here. That's what the front will look like. So it's looking really good. My distance. I'll be, be able to get that face plate in there and it'll look sharp. Okay, we'll let that dry. Here is the final product uh, after it's all bonded up and everything. This is what it's going to look like. Turned out pretty good. So now there's multiple things you can do if you really want to finish it up. You can go inside here and add some more bonding and you know really fill it up and everything. But to tell you the truth, you'll never see that while it's in the car. Uh, you could bond this section up too and then retexture it with texture paint. But I think this looks just great with this. And it, it just looks like it should be there. So I'm going to leave it as is in the front. Uh, I'm still going to go to the back. And, you know, maybe put one more plate on the back. So if you look on the back here, I still want to put a little more support right there. And, you know, maybe I'll do something along here too, just to give that a little more support. That way it's nice and sturdy and it'll never, you know, crack or anything like that. So, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is cut another plate, make it a little bit bigger to the exact, cover it all in, and maybe go over one more time with some, uh, that bond adhesive. Get really in there. That way everything's bonded up really nice, but... Turned out really good. I'm very pleased and very happy with it. And if you want to do it, it's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of time, really. Uh, most of the time, just waiting for the bond <laughs> bonding agent to set up. So, 
There you go.